Alright guys, uh, this is a little video on how to overclock your uh, a Core i7-920 to 4GHz using the P6X58D Premium motherboard. First thing you want to do is go to Advanced, hit Enter on CPU Configuration. Down at the bottom you want to disable some of these functions. Uh, first off you want to disable uh, C1E support you also want to disable uh, virtualization tech CPU TM function also execute disable bit you want to disable that as well you also want to disable A20M and spread spectrum. Also, want to disable C state tech. Okay. And then you want to go back to your AI tweaker. You want to set your AI overclock tuner to manual. Set your CPU ratio setting to 20. 20.0. Um, you also want to change your VCLK frequency to 200 and that will give you 4 gigahertz. Uh, you can also uh, adjust your PCIe uh, frequency to 105 but I chose not to. Uh, DRAM frequency you can set it to 1603 and down here on the voltages you want to change your CPU voltage to 1.35 as well with your uh, QPI DRAM core voltage 1.35 also change your DRAM bus voltage to 1.64 and down here at the bottom um, you can ch you need to change your CPU differential amplitude to 1,000 millivolts. You want to disable CPU sp uh, spread spectrum and PCIe spread spectrum as well. Uh, this will give you 4 gigahertz on the Core i7-920 using the P ASUS P5. Our P6X58D premium motherboard. Alright, guys, I just uh, started her up uh, with uh, Prime 95. So far, so good. Um, I got the Core i7 920, like I said before, um, the DO version. I got lucky getting the DO. Um, so far so good. My temps uh, aren't too bad. They're a little high. I'm using the uh, Coolant CPU 350. Uh, it's doing a pretty good job. Um, I have the Coolant's dual 120 millimeter radiator uh, with two uh, not so good thermal take uh, fans on it which uh, I'm going to be replacing with uh, two ultra fans which uh, the reviews on them are pretty good and I think I should be getting those in tomorrow I'm going to add those and see what they do also ordered some um, extra parts to uh, attach my uh, dual 140 millimeter radiator to the back of the case and if you watched my uh, videos from before uh, you probably uh, heard me uh, say that I accidentally ordered that radiator, but really uh, I'm glad I did because I'm going to put it to use and see what she does. Um, uh, she's she's doing good so far. Four gigahertz. I wish those temps were just a little bit lower, but I don't think. Uh, it's going any, any too much over 75, 76. Let's see, uh, yeah, the highest reading was 76 or 
or 78, I can't really tell. Yep, 78. Hopefully that uh, dual 140 millimeter radiator uh, will knock these down a little bit. Let's see what she's doing down here. Oh yeah, she's working. Uh, in a later video, after I get everything I've ordered put together into the case, how I want it and everything, I'll be doing a, a video on the case itself and everything I've got in the case. Um, I just wanted to use the overclocker a little bit first and show you guys what, what she can do. But um, Alright guys, thanks for watching.